I loved cheap champagne because I was, you know, a student at the time, but, <laughs> you know, wasn't no fancy stuff, but the cocaine was flowing. And I worked in the film industry, so it was really flowing. And then um, it got bad enough that my boss talked to me about missing work. And so I stopped doing drugs and I just concentrated on drinking. I stole electric from my neighbor through, well, he knew, he was a speed freak and uh, he was a speed <laughs> freak? Speed freak, yeah. And um, I plugged in and I had a little hot plate that was my heater basically. And I would kind of sleep curled around my hot plate. Uh, God, yeah. And I was shoplifting for a living. And um, it was, I mean, you know, I'd gone from this great job in the film industry to that. And, and I went to jail a lot because I wasn't the best shoplifter. <laughs> Two weeks later, and I had started dating this guy that I knew for 14 years. I started dating him again when I, I went to make amends, and that led to one thing or another. <laughs> and, um, and I got pregnant. And um, is that what they're calling it these days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, and everyone doubted me, and I was like, if, if I don't have, they didn't want me to have the baby. And I was like, if I don't have this baby, I will lose my mind and become a giant crackhead dead person. Um, so I kept her and her father abandoned us. Um, he's not on the uh, birth certificate or anything. I almost said gift certificate because she is my greatest gift. You did what you set out to do. And that's, you know what? I need to have this kid because this is my, my why. This is my wake up call. And yeah. you've been amazing ever since. And now you write these books. And why why did you write Scars? Why did you write Driving in the Rain? Two of them are fiction. The rest are all memoir and the poems. And they just talk about the time that I spent. And they talk about current day and Driving in the Rain and Scars. Scars. Oh, I love the cover of that. You've got 